What 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 is a woman? What is a woman? It's your mama. You that confused? Let me come and watch it. I tell you, it's your mama. <laughs> it sure ain't your daddy. That's right. Go ahead. Well, pasta, I agree with you. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, like Geno James. I'm trying to make my Geno James voice. The link is in the description section. You got one more day to get your Trump uh, 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 St. Patty's Day merch. And then we're not selling it anymore. We're, we've run out. So make sure you get your merch today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Links are in the description section. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, it hurt my voice. I don't know how you talk like this every day. Uh, Pastor Geno Jennings is, I, I don't agree with everything he say, and, and, and I, nor does anybody agree with everything everybody, anybody says. So, But there are some things that Geno Jennings says, in my opinion, that are quite accurate. And I think he holds up the standard more so than some of these scammy uh, mega church pastors that we see today. And, and they're so annoying because they won't say anything about anything prevalent. They just want to be popular and follow the status quo and get more people in their church to get tithes and offering. But Geno Jennings will say it. And that's what one thing I like about him. He just say it with no filter. And this is one thing that he had to say about Congress that I thought was absolutely hilarious. Wrote a film. Been in Congress trying to find what a woman is. That's right. Do you know this discussion that's going on in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. To entertain the transgender community. Yeah. What, what, what is a woman? What is a woman? It's your mama. <laughs> that's, that's right. Plain and simple. You that confused? Let me come and watch it. I'll tell you. It's your mama. <laughs> it sure ain't your daddy. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. What is a woman? What's a woman? Your mama! Your mama. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> President Biden joining in on the conversation. Mm. Oh, we, we didn't we did know what a woman is. We didn't know what a woman is. A woman is your mama. <laughs> That's right. Tell him about past. That man is past 80, isn't he? He's past 80, I, right? I believe so. You mean to tell me you passed 80 and you don't know your your mama and your wife? That's right. Is a woman? <laughs> Lord help us. Congress oh. want to find out who. And these men are in their 70s and 80s. Yeah. You don't know your mama, you fool? That's a fool. What's a woman? Your mama. <laughs> That's right. It's something, man. <laughs> What's a woman? Lord help the people. Now it's a curriculum. Yeah. They're putting these curriculums in schools. Yeah. Even books. Yeah. Books that show pictures. Yeah. To your children. Oh, yeah. Congress is passing. Oh, they're trying to shove this trash. Oh, yeah. Now I want you to evaluate this real quick. Uh, you heard what Geno Jennings said. I want you to evaluate this real quick. Do your pre do your preacher talk about this? I want you to put this in, put this in perspective. Internalize this. Does your preacher speak on these things? If the answer is no, you probably need to go to another church. If you've been going to church for the last five years or two years, three years, four years, or whatever, the advent or the acceleration of these things that we see going on, and your pastor ain't talking about this stuff. Your pastor, in my opinion, is not hearing from God. Your pastor does not have his finger on the pulse of what's going on in society. The Holy Spirit is speaking through people, informing people. And I'm not specifically saying Geno Jennings, but I know the Holy Spirit is moving and, and, and causing spirit-led Christians to talk, on, speak on these things. I look at the spirit moving like a text message. Did you, did you not get the text message that we need to be fighting against this stuff? Did you not get the text message that this is your calling in life as a pastor for you to preach on these things, for you to talk about the, the things that are going on in the, in the generation? That's exactly what Jesus Christ did. He spoke of the ills of the generation that they were in. 
what the Pharisees were doing, how people have fallen away from God, how they didn't know God. Jesus came to restore the truth of, uh, of who God was and what God has called us to do in the present time that he was in. And he also predicted and preached about what will come in the future. And you can see a lot of this preaching through his apostles who wrote and spoke, and you see that in the Bible. In the last days, they didn't just come up with this because they just thought of it. Jesus was telling them and teaching them and preaching to them that it, these things are going to happen in the last days as a prophetic word. And if your pastor ain't talking like this, what are you doing? Where are y'all at in church? What are y'all talking about? Kids going to school, people in the church getting divorced just about the same as more than anybody else. Because preachers and pastors are not speaking about the root cause of these divorces. They don't have classes. They're not talking on the pulpit about the importance of marriage, about the importance of service, about the importance of giving and taking in a marriage and a relationship. Many churches have failed on this. That's why divorces in the church are just almost as prevalent as in the world. They talk about a legislation for abortion. Yeah, I mean, abortion can be legal in your state, but nobody at the church better be having abortion. Well, they don't talk about it at the church. So down the kids, and they, they don't know what God thinks about it. They're hearing it from other people that, that, quite honestly, they cannot trust. We can go down the list. All of these things have been prevalent in the kingdom of God. And it's up to your pastor to speak like Geno Jennings. I'm just throwing it out there. Y'all like it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and all the stuff that you got to do. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Thank out. you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy my content, I guarantee you, you will enjoy Tatum Plus. Brand new platform that we just launched. Exclusive content behind the scenes of speaking engagements. All the stuff you can't see on all of my social media platform. We'll always have free content, but the extra stuff for people that really love my content will be on Tatum Plus. So go join Tatum Plus today.